All right, so now we got that out of the way where you could see what happens if you use no nutrients at all, at least on a bio straight mat. Um, you can get away with that on some things, like I said, hemp, cocoa core a little bit, but I still, on either of those, highly recommend you use nutrients. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you do use nutrients. I'm going to be using a nutrient I've never used for hydroponics before. I usually use a uh, general hydroponics. But for the sake of the course, I wanted to get something you guys could just go to the hardware store or Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart or any big box store and just get. So I am going to try miracle Grow. I'm going to do half a teaspoon per gallon of water. I'm just going to mix it into this gallon, dump it in here. I know a lot of people, when they, if they're really hardcore into organic growing and such, will freak out when they see miracle Grow. Um, I personally don't have any issue using miracle Grow, but I know some of you do. Please don't freak out. Um, I'm going to try it, see if it works for hydroponics. I think it will. And we'll go from there. And if you want to use something else, something organic, go ahead, try any kind of nutrient you want. But I'm going to show you what happens when I use miracle Grow versus just water, which you saw in the previous section, which was a complete fail. And I knew it was going to be a fail, but I really want to stress it to you and show you, regardless of what people tell you on the internet, you need nutrients to grow microgreens. So let's get started. I'm going to mix some of this in. So it's just the small end is a half a teaspoon. really not much at all. Just going to dump this in here. We'll give it a little shake. And see we got that nice blue color now. Dissolved really easily. I'm just going to dump some of this in each tray. I'll dump a little bit and then I'll move it around, try to make sure that everything's nice and soaked. And I'll come back and dump in more if I need to. It's perfectly fine if it's really wet. Just kind of move the tray around, try to get that nutrient solution moving everywhere. I know it might seem really odd for me to do experiments in a course. Um, you would think that if I'm doing this, I should already know how the miracle grow is going to work out. I don't. I, I really don't have any idea. I just think it's going to work. But what's really important, though, is I really, really want you to get it in your mindset that you can try stuff. You don't have to worry about failure. It's totally fine. It's not expensive to have a couple trays not work out. Um, I'm going to show you whether or not this works, but just really get that in your head that you don't have to ask somebody a basic question, you know, if it's something you can just try and within a week know the answer to it. Don't like stress over wondering whether or not something will work or whether or not you should be stacking a tray or not stacking it or all these different things when you should uncover it should you dome it try it just try it out you learned a ton already in this course of stuff that works like completely solid works um, that's to give you a baseline but going forward try stuff out do not be afraid to just give it a try the stuff's really not that difficult um, and you're going to have failure whether you don't want to or not. It's just, it's part of growing. There are professional full-time farmers out there that still 
run into problems and things just don't work out from one season to the next or suddenly get a crop that was way better than they they've ever had before and they don't even really know what they did or maybe they tried something a little different it's just all part of part of the learning experience and growing stuff all right so these are all nice and pretty evenly wet we're going to do the same exact thing we did last time so i've still got some of this radish this triton purple do three tablespoons Now we're going to do one and a half tablespoons of the cabbage. Again, everything is exactly the same as how we did it with the water only. Could definitely use a lot more than one and a half tablespoons of the cabbage here, but we're going to stick with that. Now one and a half tablespoons of the spicy salad mix. This will be our, what I call capstone tray. This will be the one that finishes off the stack and this will just get domed with the blackout. Blackout tray upside down on it. Same as when we did the water only. I'm just gonna mix the seeds really well. I wanna make sure that they are nice and wet all over. Now we'll stack them up. I've got the radish on the bottom, cabbage in the middle, and the mix on the top. Now I'm just going to put a tray out over the top of this, put it on my rack in the dark. There's no light in that spot, but if you're putting it under lights, that's fine as long as it's blacked out well enough. And check on it in a couple days. It's getting a little bit warmer here than it was. This should sprout pretty quick, probably two to three days, they'll be ready. And every time I water them, I'll be using this, this miracle Grow solution. But you won't have to water them right away. It'll be a day after they've been uncovered before you should really have to water them. If you sense that they're drying up at all, go ahead and just mist them with a little bit of water to keep them nice and damp. Make sure you get nice, even germination. Follow up in a couple days. So after about three and a half days, I've uncovered our miracle grow shoots. This is radish. This is the cabbage. And this is the spicy mix. You can see that everything I've got actually some decent height. That's mostly the arugula, I think. And so every time I water this, it'll be watered with that miracle grow solution. And I will keep updating this so you see the progress. I'm curious how the miracle Grow is going to work myself. These have all been under lights for just about two days now. And I'm actually fairly impressed. Everything's growing extremely well. It seems that miracle Grow works great as a hydroponic solution if you don't care about whether or not you're organic. So, I will update this in another day or so. It's been 10 days since I planted these. The radish looks great. The cabbage also looks really good. And the spicy mix looks just okay, but that's not the fault of 
really the experiment. It's really the fault of... I let it dry out one day. I didn't get to it in time. These mats are very difficult if you're not right on top of it. They can dry out in a hurry on you. So I basically kind of ruined this crop, but... These two are fine. So yes, you can use miracle Grow if you so choose as a hydroponic solution and it works great. I'm still not a big fan of these mats but for the sake of the course and for you just getting them in the in the kit it's a good way for you to try something out if you choose to do that. So I hope you learned something from this. Definitely use nutrients when you are doing hydroponic growing if you're not using a medium like hemp or even Cocoa Core, I still recommend you use a nutrient. But That's going to be it for this video.